Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create chocolate marshmallows in Blender. So let's get started. First hit Shift A and add a plane. Go to Geometry Nodes and click on New. Delete the group input and add a cube. Duplicate it. And for this one let's set the Y to 0.14. Now add a Join Geometry Node. Plug this in and this and or just click on it. Duplicate the join geometry node and add a transform node. Plug the geometry into the geometry. Set the X translation to 0.49. Now add a cylinder. Plug the mesh into the geometry. Set the radius here to 10 and add a subdivide mesh node. Set the level to 2 and add a subdivision surface node. Put that here. Set the scale on the X and Y to 0.05 and for the Z, set it to 0.01. Now set the Y rotation to 90. Duplicate the subdivision surface node and set the level to 4. If you want to have these timings here, you can go up here and enable timings. Add a gradient texture and plug the color into the edge crease. Set the gradient texture to easing. Add a transform node. Set the Y rotation to 90. Now we need a mesh to volume node. And let's also add a volume to mesh node. Set the exterior bandwidth to 0.24. Set this from grid to amount. Set the adaptivity to 1. Add a subdivision surface node. Put that here and set the level to 2. Now add a set shade smooth node. We also need a set material node. Add a grid. And we also need an instance and points node. This one. Set the size of the grid to 5 and the vertices to 10. Plug the mesh into the points. And let's take this geometry and plug it into the instance. Or shift click on the instance and points node. Add a combine XYZ. Plug it into the rotation. Now we need a random value node. Plug the value into the set. Duplicate these two nodes and plug the vector into the scale. Set the minimum to 0.28 and the maximum to 0.3. Now select the random value and move it down and duplicate it twice. Set the seed for this one to 1 and for this one to 2. Now plug this one into the Y and this one into the X. To add the ground, add a cube. Put that here. Set the Z to 0.1 and add a transform node. Plug the mesh into the geometry and add a joint geometry node. Put that here. And now plug the geometry into the geometry. Set the Z to minus 0.2. 29 here and let's also set the scale on the x and y axis to 5. Now duplicate the set material node, go to the material properties, click on new and click on the plus sign and click on new again. Here let's select material 003 and here material 004. In your case the materials should have a different name. Now go to shading and go to rendered view. I'm going to use cyclist for this. I will put a link to the HDI that I'm using in the description. Make sure to select the material that we used for the chocolate marshmallows. For the base color I'm going to use this hex code here. You can copy it if you like. Set the subsurface to 0.025. Now add a noise texture. Set it to 1000. Plug the factor into the roughness and into the normal. Add a bump node. 
let's use the height and set the strength to 0 0.01. You don't have to do this, but I'm also going to create the bottom texture here. Duplicate all three shaders and add a mix shader node. Plug this one into the bottom. Add a mix RGB node. Put that here. Now take the factor of the noise texture and plug it into color 2 and into the factor. I forgot to set the detail to 15. Let's also do that for this one here. Go down here again and set the strength to 0.1. Add a brick texture. I'm going to use these colors here. You can of course copy them again. For color 2 I'm going to use this one. And for the mortar I'm going to use this one. Plug the color into color 1 of the mix RGB. Let's also plug the color into the factor here. Let's also plug the color into the base color here. Set the offset to 0 and the scale to 25. Set the motor size to 0.1 and the brick width to 0.25. Set the motor size to 0 0.005 and the brick width to 0.25. Now add an invert node, plug the color into the factor, add a color ramp, plug the color into the color and bring the black into somewhere around here and the white here. Now we need a gradient texture, set it to quadratic and plug the color into the factor. Now select the gradient texture and press Ctrl T and use the object output. Set the Y rotation to minus 90 and bring the black in closer. And let's drag the white over here. Bring it in again, like this. I set the black to 0.545 and the white to 0.532. Now let's go to the second material, add a mask wave texture, press Ctrl T and use the object output, set the X scale to 100 and the Y to 0.19, set the scale here to 10.8, plug the height into the roughness and into the normal, and let's add a bump node. Use the height again and set the strength to 0.25. Now let's save. As you can see there is some distance between here. So go to geometry nodes and let's set this to minus 0.27. Go to layout mode, press delete on the numpad and 1. And press 6 on the numpad 3 times and 8 2 times. Now hit shift A and add a camera. Control Alt 0 to go into camera view and press G and set twice to move it on the local Z axis. Now let's press G and Y twice. Add an empty plane axis. Press G and Shift Z and move it to somewhere around here. Like this. Go here and enable depth of field. Select the camera. Go to the object data properties and enable depth of field. Select the empty here and set the f-step to 0.7 and the blades to 16. Now go to the render properties and I don't recommend that you use denoise. You can of course use it if you want to. I'm going to set the max samples to 6400. To get less noise, let's disable the noise threshold. If it takes too long to render, you can enable it, of course, because it will increase the rendering time. Under color management, set the fusion under color management, set the fusion form to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Go to compositing, hit Shift A and add a denoise node. The reason I'm using the denoise node here is because this denoiser for some reason doesn't work as well. What I'm saying by that is that this denoiser will make the image very blurry, while this one doesn't make it nearly as blurry. 
Don't worry about all these outputs here. We just need these two and the image. To get these two, go here, enable denoising data and connect the albedo to the albedo and the normal to the normal. Now take the image and plug it into the image. And plug this one in here. Also make sure it's set to accurate. Now save again and press F12 to render the image. So that's it for the tutorial. I hope you liked it. Please let me know what to show to next and I'll see you next time.